Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. We are going to remove noise from video with the best tool on the market, and that's Neat Video Reduce Noise. To me, there's only one tool out there that does a, this job, and that is Neat Video Reduce Noise. Um, I've, I've seen nothing like it because not only does it reduce the noise, but it keeps things sharp at the same time. It is a processor hog, so it will slow the fastest computer down to nothing. But if you're if you're if you care about quality um, and you've got the time, this is the tool to use. It 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 looks at quality over processing speed, so it ain't fast, uh, but the results are remarkable. So. Neat video. We'll just apply it here. So let's go to the first clip. In the effects, neat video has its own category and reduced noise. And when you put this on a clip, you won't see anything, but you will get the option for this little button here to set up. When I click on this, it will open up the interface and we can start to explore what's going on. We're in the beginner mode. We can go to an advanced mode, which I will in, in, a, in a bit. But in this mode here, um, it's going to um, give me tools to look at this video and see it in the YCRCB uh, view. This isn't RGB. I, I could look at it in RGB if I wanted here, but you'll notice that I get a, a much better view of looking at this in this mode, this helps me see where the noise is. The simplest way to use reduce noise is to click this button here, Auto Profile. It looks at the video, it finds a part of the video that is not too dark and not too light and it, it has to be static. Now, although we can see parts of his face, that are noisy and they're a clear area, they're not static and they're moving around. You've got to find an area that is fairly static um, and, and not there's not a lot of different things. It's like a whole bunch of noise in that one area. The sky, the side of a wall. Um, if it doesn't find something, you can just click and start dragging on your own. And you'll see that when you're too small, it's going to turn red. As it gets better, it's yellow. And it, you'll notice that the size of it changes. So that says small and it's thin, it's bold, and but still yellow. And when you get a little further and you get up to uh, a bold, heavy line and it's green, it's telling me that this is a good area for a profile. And if you want, you can just click apply and it's done its result. It's that easy. So if you're not interested in digging in uh, to the settings, the result looks pretty darn amazing. Turn that on and off. You can see all the multicolored noise in his sweater. It's now gone. In his face and his eyes seem still sharp. The lights are crisp in there and that's done. But if you wanted to take this a step further, let's open that up and we can, as I said, go to the noise filter settings and we could stay in the, in the beginner mode and start to look at uh, differences in here. So this is time and this is space, temporal. Right now it's using two frames on each side. So you can see down at the bottom, that's the current frame and it's looking at the next two frames and the previous two frames. This helps Neat Video understand what's going on in terms of noise and the actual picture. What it's trying to do is it's trying to look at what is your video and what is noise because it, if it can pick up just the noise, then it's gonna remove that a little bit easier. And you could take this all the way up to five. So you'll notice now it's looking at five frames ahead and five frames back. Okay, um, the spatial filter, we can look at the noise reduction amount and the noise level, and we can even turn on sharpening here if we wanted to. So we can enable sharpening and start pushing that in to that area and we can enable and disable any of these. We can turn the amount of noise reduction up or down. And in our general settings, you can see here 
the clip that, that we're using, the size of the clip, how many frames it's, it's looking at. Uh, we're not removing dust and scratches, and those are some of the other settings. You'll notice too that it's using my CPU and my GPU, and we can check the speed And in the preferences, we can look at performance. We can use a CPU, GPU, uh, use CPU and GPU. The number of cores in this particular machine has six cores, and it has a Quadro K5100M that it's using. And we can optimize those settings in here. So you can go through some choices in here on how to optimize that. Uh, you can change this from 32-bit to 16 to 8 bits, and we can change the overall processing here. Right now it's 1080p uh, for this particular clip. So let's look at going into the advanced mode. And now when we're in advanced mode, You'll notice in the temporal filter, we've got dust and scratches and even slow shutter settings and adapt to changing noise. So if the, if the noise is changing uh, overall uh, considerably, then you can adapt to that. There's also the uh, spatial settings. Now we've got things like artifact removal, which I don't have in here. But if you're restoring some older video with dots and lines and scratches, and you can set that up in there edge smoothing, which we'll use in just a second, and sharpening as I showed you, and we can prevent over sharpening. So you can see all of these settings come in uh, in the advanced mode. And like I said, I can click apply and it's going to apply those settings to that. If you want, you could right click on here and save this as any typical uh, preset in Premiere Pro. So that was a pretty good one. Um, honestly, out of the box, when, when I uh, processed that, I just selected that green area and then I hit the rest of the defaults and the results were pretty darn remarkable. Let's go to the next example with Justin playing guitar. Um, I also liked this example because there's quite a bit uh, of sharpness to focus on. For instance, there's a bunch of highlights coming off the metal in his uh, guitar head and the pegs. The microphone has a lot of that. Oh, by the way, no, this microphone is not, I'm not an idiot. I didn't use this microphone to record the guitar. Um, he's sitting there for both the electric and the acoustic session. So when we swapped in an acoustic guitar, that's the mic I was using. Um, and you can see that um, over on the, the uh, picture here in the glass, there's also a lot of, of reflection here as there is in his uh, shirt. So there's a lot of things to uh, look for. So let's apply neat video reduce noise, just like before. Open that up. I'm gonna grab this area over here. You can see that's nice and green. Let's go to auto profile. Let's go to our noise filter settings. Uh, I want to show you over here that there are controls over here for how that profile is made. I'm not going to do anything in here because I'm going to put a link onto the Neat Video website where they've got a very, very detailed uh, look at what, what that graph means and how to work with it. So rather than me just doubling what they've already done, you can go over and watch that there. Let's go back over to the settings. And like I said, let's go back over to the advanced mode and look at these filters here. Now I actually saved this. So I saved a mode here and if you click inside it will defeat this temporarily turn it off and then turn it on look at that I'll turn this on that's noisy that's not noisy noisy not noisy okay you should be freaking out right now because so much of that video is still very very clear uh, but we're reducing the noise by an enormous amount you can see that, especially in the door in the background there, you can see all that multicolored noise. You can see on his face how things look smooth. Let's go over and look at the settings. I kept this uh, at the default, default level. There's my noise level, and I enabled smoothing and sharpening. And watch over here on the uh, his shirt. I'm going to turn off edge smoothing. 
and turn that back on. You see that area right in there. Let's turn it off. It just smooths out some of those edges. So as I'm sharpening, I'm also smoothing some of those edges out so we don't see any of those uh, jagged edges. I left the channels and luminance um, up here at 250% uh, and cranked the sharpening up quite a bit. Let's turn off the sharpening and you can see that's sharpening on, sharpening off. I mean, it really does pop on his shirt. And up in the top, you can click and save this, or you can uh, load in a different setting as I did before. And once I click apply, the results are there. And here's a before and after side by side with both of these. And you can see really remarkable results. All right, so neat video, reduce noise. It is a tool that professionals will use to fix uh, some of their work, maybe non-professionals when they're shooting, uh, or maybe you've just been handed crappy footage that's really, really noisy and you're scratching your head. You don't have the opportunity to go back and reshoot this. This will save your bacon. There's nothing like it in the industry. And like I said, there's I'll put links in the description for you to go look at their tutorials, which are very, very deep and in-depth, so you can learn everything you can. But remember, as I showed you with the first one, a quick click on the auto profile, and the results were just remarkable. Okay, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then uh, take a moment and subscribe if you're new to Video Revealed. You wanna take your sport up a notch, join us over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.